I'm on my way to find the perfect dream home for some new clients, Phil and Claire. They are a fun-loving couple who like to travel the world and want to come home to a real showstopper. Claire is a recent law school grad and Phil owns his own business. They want a traditional yet contemporary five-bedroom home, a kitchen with all the bells and whistles, and space for entertaining. Their budget is $10 million. Spectacular. mortgage broker and my number one choice for mortgages, Paul Meredith, will work out the financial details with Phil and Claire. What would you say your total assets are, total net worth? Uh, if I'd have to guess, I would say north of 10 million. Okay. And do you have a budget in mind? How much are you hoping to qualify for? We're looking for properties between 7 and 9 million. Okay. And then how much do you have for down payment? Probably uh, 70 to 80 percent. Okay. So in your particular case, we've got a lot of money there. We've got a sizable down payment. What we would look for here is a net worth program. What lenders will do is they want to see that you have $1 for every $1 in mortgage amount that you're going over your qualified maximum. Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, you qualify for a maximum of $500,000 on your declared income. If you've got $500,000 over and above your down payment sitting in a savings or an investment account, then you will qualify for that much more. So that means you could purchase up to a million dollars. Now in your case, we've got a lot more money than that sitting around. And given your sizable down payment, we should have absolutely no problem getting you qualified for that $9 million purchase. Just the words I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Next step is to get out there and find your dream home. That sounds like fun. Sounds exciting. Awesome. You guys ready to go for a bull ride? Yes. Let's All right, do it. let's do it. What is that? I think it's a rocket ship. <laughs> Mike, what are you driving, a spaceship? Oh no, this is 50% uh, super bike, 50% sports car, and 100% all fun. <laughs> okay, how many tickets? Well, no tickets because they have to catch you first. <laughs> There's a little sign in the mirror that says, if you step on it, everything behind you will vanish. Can I take it for a little spin later? Well, I have to ask my grandmother, it's hers. That's a pretty cool grandma you got there. But well, she's skateboarding right now. <laughs> So I'm glad you made it here. What you're gonna see here is a very special house. Debbie's inside, she got the lights turned on, getting it set up for us. And I think you're gonna be in for a nice surprise. Great. So let's go inside. Great. Okay. Gorgeous stone steps, flagstone walkway, the fountain, and a grand entrance, circular arch going up to the front door. But wait, take off your glasses. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to picture a European Renaissance, and we're going to go inside. Follow my lead. I got you. OK. Pretty soon, you'll be able to open your eyes. Why are their eyes closed? Well. I wanted them to get the full effect of this house. The best way to do it is by surprise. OK, you ready? Open your eyes. Madonna, are we still in Canada? Or is this Italy? <laughs> this is beautiful. Do you notice the dome ceiling? It looks like it's hand painted. I call this the Renaissance house, because they actually brought in artisans from Italy. They spent 16 months here just painting the ceilings in the house. At nighttime, there are hidden stars inside this domed ceiling, so they twinkle. <laughs> if you look at the great room over there with the 30-foot ceiling, there's a 24-foot floor-to-ceiling picture window, 20-foot limestone fireplace, exquisite hand-painted cornice molding. You've got hardwood floors in there. Even the winged hallways give you the nice palatial effect. Claire, 
Is this great enough for entertaining? Absolutely. I can really see us in this space. We'll manage. Yeah, I think we'll manage. I think you're ready to see the kitchen. Great. Claire, you're gonna find everything for the gourmet chef in you is here, laid out spaciously so you can prepare all of those fabulous dishes. Well, I'm not even the gourmet chef. Phil is, so. I'm the gourmet chef, Mike. <laughs> I'll have to invite you over sometime. Well, the two of us would love to come for dinner. You're welcome. Since he's the chef, you don't have to worry about cooking. Not at all. It works out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> We've got 12-foot ceilings here with a four-foot bulkhead all hand-painted. You could easily accommodate 20 to 30 people in here. Again, great for entertaining. So now you're ready to see all the goodies inside this kitchen. Let's do it. To see the gorgeous granite countertop with the breakfast island, there's integrated appliances, Sub-Zero, fridge and a freezer in the pantry, the cabinetry is custom work, the Wolf double oven. I can see you cooking up a nice breakfast skillet. Absolutely. <laughs> Everyone's invited. And the best part is we're going to walk right out to the patio because it's connected to the kitchen and the breakfast area. Great. Perfect. Look at that view. So it's quite an elaborate garden. You've got 150 fruit trees, 200 shrubs, sprinkler system, fully fenced, greenhouse in the back, gazebo. It's a complete estate on two acres. What I like about this house is it never seems to stop impressing you. Claire, what about that master bedroom? And oh, that, that master closet? bedroom. Be still my beating heart. That closet <laughs> space. So much organization mm -hmm. and oh, room for all my shoes and maybe a few of yours. Hers and hers closet. Yeah. And then the ensuite with that great soaker tub in the middle. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Double sided fireplace. Oh, so classy. Just when you thought you saw it all upstairs, the basement was a pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. Did you have a look at that banquet size room down there? Incredible. The 70 foot bar. There's lots of room there for entertaining. There's uh, lots of room for poker night. There's a pool table as well. And uh, there's a fantastic theater room. That's right. That I know Claire is really going to enjoy. <laughs> Ladies' movie night. Uh, how much is this going to set me back? Actually, that's a nice surprise. It's only eight million dollars. So when you consider the lots worth four million, that's there's another million dollars in landscaping plus the fencing, electric gates, and the house would cost you about seven million to reproduce. You're buying it under value. That really we'll is beautiful. We'll certainly give it some consideration. It's a real contender. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Thank you, Mike. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go take a look. They're just beautifully landscaped. Excellent curb appeal. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mike. What took you so long? I've been here an hour. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't mind waiting for you because I had a chance to take the pets for a walk. What pets? The Crocs. They <laughs> want fresh air, too. <laughs> <laughs> so today's house is a Santa Fe house. It was built by a retired couple who've traveled all over the world and taken every element and put it all together. I think what you're going to find inside is very, very special. And if you're really nice, there's one room I think you're going to love. Great. Let me say, let's go inside. You'll see a 100-year metal roof, the four pillars, two grand oak doors. Claire, isn't this an entrance? This is an entrance. This is very grand, very spacious, just beautiful. Now, this is unique and different. This is stunning. I love the architecture. And I can see right through the property, right into that gorgeous backyard. This is Santa Fe. The whole flow of the house with the pillars and the ceiling gives you that warm, southern Santa Fe effect. We've got almost 5,000 square feet just in this one level. It's very unique in here. It has a really light and airy feel to the space. I really love the marble columns, the archways, the skylight. And this gives a really zen feel to the space. That's a 700-pound 
piece of quartz with the waterfall effect running from top to bottom, so it gives you that soothing sound. I love the sound of water. The sunk in the living room, double-sided fireplace. I love the fireplace on both sides. Great for entertaining. And in a completely separate dining area with a beautiful iron chandelier. You've got 20-foot ceilings. I love that, along with floor-to-ceiling windows. And a real chef's kitchen that opens up to the patio below. It has all the high-end appliances, granite countertops, ample cabinetry, five-star meals start here. But Claire, wait until you see the master bedroom. Oh, I can't wait. So the three bedrooms are set on one wing and the master's on one side all on its own. Oh my God, I've stayed at the Royal Suites in Dubai, but I think this is bigger. <laughs> I love this. Well, they do a large in Santa Fe. Do they ever? I love this master suite, Mike. Plus, you have the 18-foot ceilings. And over there, you have the gas fireplace with the limestone mantle. It's big enough to have a ballroom in here. And the wooden beams in this room, they look original. And let's not forget about the ensuite. I love the master ensuite, that walk-up Roman tub. There's that domed ceiling inside. It's all hand-painted. I love that painted ceiling. Makes me feel like I'm in Italy. I love this master suite. <laughs> well, those large glass doors lead out to the deck. They bring in all kinds of light into this room. Oh, Mike, I'm going to have to excuse myself working on an offer. I have to go. Wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks, Debbie. Bye, Thanks, Mike. Debbie. Thank you. Let's go outside and look at that backyard from the patio. This home is surrounded by lush gardens that create the perfect privacy wall. From the spacious patio, you can enjoy the stunning scenery for miles. Imagine hosting the most amazing pool parties in this saltwater heated pool featuring a relaxing waterfall. I like the interlocking flagstone walkway and the stone coping. Take a look at this majestic Japanese maple. It's just beautiful. The colors in the garden are fantastic. So this is what Santa Fe is all about. And the house doesn't end there. The downstairs is even more enticing. This multi-purpose floor has something for everyone. Relax in this eight-seat jacuzzi. Enjoy your steam in this soothing sauna. Work out in the state-of-the-art gym. Or entertain in this one-of-a-kind private grotto bar, complete with a large wine cellar. This unique room, reminiscent of a cavern in the Middle Ages, will have your guests completely intrigued, says this guy. So, Mike, what are we looking at here? What's the price of the property? Actually, it's only $7 million, which is not much for a two-acre property on the ravine in Castlemore. It's got everything I'm looking for. I don't know if I need to see any more. Well, we just started, and I have a couple more lined up, so okay. take a peek and then make up your decision after. Something to think about. I'd like to see what's in the back. Me too. Have a look. This beautiful, sprawling, manicured bungalow located on a ravine lot in an exclusive neighborhood ticks off all the boxes. It is luxurious and spacious. Featuring a three-car garage, this European-inspired home was built to impress, especially the grand entrance with its Roman pillars, curved archways, and multiple gables. The solid oak doors provide a spectacular contrast to the stone facing. An entrance like this is a welcoming feature into a home that promises contemporary design blended with traditional charm. Welcome to Casabella. Oh, this is certainly bright and airy, much more contemporary and modern. It really is. It's got a nice open feel. You've got 12,000 square feet, 6,000 square feet on each level. The office on the main floor has all of the built-in woodwork, the wainscoting, very exquisite. It's great that the office, living room, family room, dining room are all exposed to the foyer. Yeah, it gives it a really warm, inviting feel mm -hmm. to the space. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Fresh, elegant, and clean. So it's really a focal point of the whole house as you're standing underneath the chandelier. Perfect. You're going to take a peek at the kitchen? Sure. Let's do it. 
You'll notice here in the dining room that the ceiling's 14 feet hand painted. Picture window overlooking the yard. This is a great space for entertaining. I could see us having a dinner party here. There's lots of room in here. And the fresco paint covering is right throughout the whole hallway. You notice the wall of windows and all the light in the kitchen that's coming through. It's got a great feel to it. That's why they call it Casabella. Perfect name. I love it. It's a classic. Well, the kitchen is a statement of elegance with this classic white custom cabinetry, the black marble countertop, the built-in appliances. I think it'll be perfect for our resident chef. <laughs> Do you mind if I get a closer look at the kitchen? By all means. I think she really likes the light fixtures. I do. I love the Murano light fixtures. Well, they come from Italy. And I think I can really work with the space. Good. You cook up a storm here. And double sink here, that's pretty handy. Mm-hmm. I can stay out of your way. <laughs> well, I think we should go out to the patio and enjoy nature. Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, Phil, look God. at this. <laughs> look at the size of the property. Feels like you're at the cottage. It does. Amazing. Well, you've got 35 fruit trees. You've got a ravine lot and behind you all nestled on two acres. Like you see from the outside, this house has it all. The Niagara Cascade stone, the stone edging, the 100 year roof. And the beauty doesn't end. The high ceilings and hardwood floors create an elegant and cozy feeling here, which is what you want for a primary suite. Not to be outdone is the gorgeous spa ensuite decorated with another Moreno glass chandelier, featuring modern marble countertops, a standalone glass encased shower, and the ultimate deep soaker tub to complete the spa. Then you're looking at the bottom level. It was all one vast open space. Two bedrooms, theater, the kitchen. It's got lots of room for a pool table, lots of room for entertaining my friends, uh, poker night. They really had it all. And not to mention the cabana with that gorgeous kitchen, sub-zero integrated fridge, and the greenhouse with the fig trees. And I was really excited by the greenhouse. I think that'll be a really nice project for both of us. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about being in Castlemore is that you're in the country, yet you're 30 minutes to the city. Here, you get the best of both worlds. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at $9 million. It's basically $5 million for the ravine lot and $6 million for the house on a replacement cost, so it's below market value. Well, it's another property to consider. Yep, lots right. to think about. And we've got uh, a number of them to consider now. Well, I'm glad you had a chance to see some very special bungalows. So tomorrow, I'm going to pick you up and take you for a ride, and you can give me your decision. Hopefully in a car, right, Mike? I promise, a car. <laughs> I think we should take a walk down there, and let's take a look at that cabana. Sure. Drive is over. Please give me a five star rating. This is where you park the spaceship. Well, one of the parking spots. You'll find a couple more inside. <laughs> Welcome to the little garage in behind my house. Wow. So, this is where all the babies sleep at nighttime. <laughs> Maybe one day on the weekend, I'll take you fishing in the fishing boat. 1800 horsepower, it's perfect for trolling. Thank you so much for showing us the three properties. They were all beautiful and unique in their own ways. We've had a great time. My pleasure. We have some good choices for you to pick from. So I'll start off with a quick recap. So we saw the Renaissance house. We walked in and you saw those domed ceilings, hand painted, that massive great room with the 25 foot ceilings, floor to ceiling fireplace and windows, master bedroom that was a work of art, like it came out of the Sistine Chapel. It had definitely a gourmet kitchen with that big center island all the way through. And then the basement, that was banquet hall size. Good enough for a banquet for 400 people. That was also gated and on two acres. So that house was $8 million. And then we had Santa Fe. Santa Fe was very unique on its own. It had that distinct design, the openness, we walked in. It had that big sheet of granite with the waterfall for that zen effect coming through. A double-sided fireplace, kitchen, dining room, and the master bedroom. Uh, very spacious with that luscious ensuite bath with a Roman tub. 
Then we had that downstairs. It just, it was cavernous with all of the recreation area. It had the spa, it had the sauna, and not to mention your favorite, the grotto. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of a kind. So that house was $7 million. Then we had Casabella. Casabella was the Italian home. You walked in all the white marble floors. There was open space to everything. That impressive and spacious main bedroom that leads to a grand spa with a modern look. And then in the back, they had the second cabana. It was quite extensive property, fully gated on two acres, backing onto the ravine, and that was $9 million. It's hard to make a choice. Mm -hmm. So was there one, perhaps, that didn't make the grade? I think there was. For us, I think that was Casabella. It just didn't seem cozy enough. I can understand that, sort of all white and spacious. OK, so now we're down to the two houses, Santa Fe and Renaissance. That's right. Santa Fe was love at first sight, Mike. I love that property. The bedroom you could dance in, a uh, closet space for days, and a, a master ensuite, unlike any other I've seen. And let's not forget the grotto. <laughs> of course. That's the key. I mean, you're not going to see that in just about any other property. It's a Renaissance house. Uh, well, the Renaissance house, appropriately named. It felt like you were in uh, Rome. That's it. it. It was a little piece of Italy, which was beautiful. The hand-painted moldings, the huge chef kitchen mm -hmm. for our resident chef. Yeah, I love the appliances in the kitchen and the attention to detail everywhere. So it looks like you have a tough choice. So have you made a decision? I think we have. I think so. What's the decision? I'm so excited to start our life in our new home. We chose... The Renaissance, the Renaissance house. house. Oh my gosh, that was in stereo. <laughs> we really see ourselves in that space and um, growing old together and entertaining our friends and family. And I've never seen ceilings done like that. It felt like Michelangelo paid a visit himself. It truly really is one of a kind. It was just, it's perfect for us. Well, I think we can now finally celebrate the house, the upcoming marriage, and the new lawyer in the house. Thank you. <laughs> to your new home. Cheers. Thank you so much, and thank you for all your hard work. Thank you. You're welcome. Mike.